Hello bees bladers, welcome back to the channel and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a short unboxing and disassembly to do today and another knife to the channel that's under 30 bucks. Super budget, that's what we're going for right now or what we've been doing lately, right? So thank you subscribers, thank you channel members and thank you patrons on Patreon, you guys are absolutely awesome. We're gonna, there's gonna be a giveaway very soon of a very nice knife for patrons and for channel members, just saying. So, let's get right into this bad boy. Uh, what am I going to use to open it? You know, I'm going to use something different today. I'm going to use the Sincut Scepter. There you go. That's a pretty cool knife. I'm going to use that to get in here, and let's see what this is all about. This knife I got because I thought it looked very, very similar to another knife that's out there that all of you are familiar with. <laughs> I know you know you are going to be like, what? All right, so this is the Sativian ST103 folding knife, D-Ping, <laughs> hunting survival. And I hope that's not the uh, model number. I don't think so. I think just the model number is the ST103. So are you ready to see it? Let's get in here. Come on, let's get in. So it comes with this piece, this uh, odd stretchy piece of cloth. I'm not sure what this is, but you could use it to clean it, I guess. And what else is in here? Nothing else in the box. Nothing else in the box. And here it is. And I got this because I was like, man, that looks oddly like a QSP Penguin. It feels like it's going to be a little bigger. It comes with a uh, piece of leather for a uh, lanyard hole for, for, for the lanyard. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here's this side. Here's the top of it. And I do like already that, that it has the liners. The liners are not inset. That gets me away from that sharp G10. So I'm liking that already. And there's going all the way around. And are we centered? Yes, we're centered. And there's your pocket clip. Deep carry pocket clip. Couple mushrooms growing there in the shade, but they don't look too hateful. And I am not wanting this on here. Not interested. So uh, do I want to untie it and take the time to untie it? Let's see if it goes real quick so I don't have to pause the video. Yep, there we go. There we go. Get this off of here. I'll give that to someone in a giveaway. All right, so there's what it looks like without the lanyard. See, it has pretty nice texture. Feels It feels good. The texture feels good. Give you a little bit of texture vision here. Yeah, that feels very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, you ready to see this blade? You see there, ST-103? Back to the pocket clip. Uh, it is not reversible. So this is tip up, right side carry only. Wah, wah. Super strong pocket clip. And there's your blade. Gee, what does that look like? That looks a lot like the QSP Penguin. We'll put them up next to each other here in a minute. Now, this is interesting. It has this uh, very even swedge all the way across the top. It's kind of neat looking. Now, look at the finish on that. that that's pretty nice. This goes for $26.99. Guys and gals, this is $27. And this is a nice size blade. And the finish on it is very nice. And whoo, I'm feeling an edge. So this is the fourth Sativian that I've owned now. And I got to tell you, the other ones come super sharp from the factory. ST-103, this is D2 Tool Steel. And on this side, there's your logo, Sativian. And just going all the way down to give you up close vision. Man, that's pretty nice. I like that feel. I like it. I like it a lot. There's a big old spot for a lanyard hole. You can put a big old rope through there. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. So 27 bucks, and you can get it in black, or you can also get it in J10. Uh, J10. <laughs> this is G10, but you can also get it in Jade. All right, so I'm going to get the specs, and we'll do specs in 60 seconds. Okay, let's see what this bad boy weighs. I'm going to guess, uh, let's see. It, man, it feels really solid. It feels heavier than it probably is. I'm going to go with four... 3.9. And survey says 4.1. Ooh, I was pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. All right, here, you ready? Are you ready for specs in 60 seconds? If I can find the knife. Here we go. Let's do a little zoomage. And here we go. So from tip to tip, we are 8 and 1 16th inch. You got a sheep's foot blade, your D2 blade steel with a nice satin finish so far. Total blade length 3.46 inches, and so is your cutting edge. Your blade stock thickness is 130 thousandths, and guess what? Behind the edge, consistently, all up and down, we were at 9 thousandths. Yeah, that's right, 9 thousandths. You got G10 for the handle, 
for your scales, your handle length is 4.53 inches from tip to tip. Your handle width is 0.87 inches right here in the middle, and your 0.61 inches thick. And your opening method is going to be a flipper tab, and we probably get a couple uh, other different ways to open it here. And this is the ST102 by Citivine, and it's made in China. So there, was it in 60 seconds or less? I think so. And we'll get a good look of what's inside, all the parts and what it looks like on the inside. At the uh, end of the video, we will take this sucker apart, see how easy it is to disassemble and clean, and see how good the action improves, if any. All right, so let's see how this guy cuts out of the box. How are we cutting out of the box? Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is sharp. I mean, I can tell the first time I felt it, it is, I mean, it's toothy. Look at that. Yeah, we got an edge, boys and girls. Yes. Let's see what it looks like in and out of the pocket. Here's your old jeans pocket. And what's it going to look like? Okay, so it's nice and sturdy. I mean, it's got a good grip on the pocket. Nice deep carry. Yeah, nice. I'll take it. And let's see if it feels solid. Okay, no blade play, no lock rock. Feels absolutely solid. Not getting anything going on there. Let's see what our lockup looks like here. Um, I'd say we're about 30%. What do you think? Easily 30%. So that's very nice, very, very nice. We'll see what's in the pivot here shortly. And again, it is nicely centered. And we'll uh, we'll double check what our size of our pocket or what our screws are. I'm guessing they're probably T8s and T6s. And let's do some quick size comparisons for you guys. We put a piece of paper down for some contrast for you guys. All right, here's the Spyderco Tenacious. There we go. So we'll do some width-wise. There's the Tenacious. Here's the Spyderco Pair of 3. And here's the Spider Code Delica 4. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here's the QSP Hawk. I know a lot of folks have the QSP Hawk. And let's, let's throw up the Sincut Scepter. I mean, it feels like a... I mean, it feels nice. It feels nice in the hand. Here's the uh, C, CRKT Pilar 3. Pilar 3. A little more slender. And here is the one that I'm waiting to see is the QSP Penguin. I'm gonna see what this Penguin looks like up against it. So I'm gonna lay this puppy down and we'll lay these knives next to it. And you guys will get a good idea of what you're working with. And I like the size of this blade too. I think it's gonna be a little longer than the Penguin. We shall find out shortly. So here is the Spyderco Tenacious. Make sure we're zoomed, there we go. And here's the Spyderco Pair 3. So you can see it's longer than the pair of three, has a nice full-size handle. It's definitely a full-size knife. It's not a mini knife by any means. Here is the Spyderco Delica. Delica 4. Delica 4. And a QSP Hawk. The Hawk. Caw -caw, caw -caw. <laughs> that didn't sound like a hawk at all. There's those two. All right, and I'm going to do a couple more here. Here's the CRKT Pilar 3. And the Sincut Scepter. The Scepter. I had to steal this back from my wife so I could use it for some a couple comparisons. My wife carries that a lot along with a couple others. So there's those two. And now the one that I wanted to see. The QSP Penguin. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. So it looks very similar to the Penguin. Except for it's bigger. So if you like the Penguin but would like a little more handle and a little more blade... There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at it? Get them up at the same angle here. Damn, okay, all right. We'll see how the ergos are and everything, but there's the penguin nest next to this. Now the penguin, you can get these for around 32 bucks. This one's uh, $26.99, that's $32.66. And I know you get uh, $3.26 off if you go to White Mountain Knives, use my discount code. So you end up getting this for like three bucks more. So it depends on which one you're going for what you like. Now you have a lot more options for colors with QSP Penguin. And I'll put a couple links down there for the Penguin also, just because they are so similar. And I'll put the links, the affiliate links for this guy over on Amazon. That's the only, the only place you can get these as far as I know. Let's check out the deployment. Let's see how this guy works. Hey guys, quick call to action. Hit the, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now before you forget, before we get into all this and take this sucker apart. I really appreciate you guys. I love your support. I love it when you guys make a comment in the description and you already know. I don't care if you don't have anything to say about the knife. Say hello. Tell me what you had for dinner. Tell me what the dog's favorite toy is. I don't care. <laughs> all right. So 
Here's your deployment. I'm getting ahead of myself. Here's your push button. Okay, all right, pretty nice. Ooh, pretty smooth, pretty smooth. The push button's very nice. And man, it's, man, it's smooth, it's smooth. Let's see how the light switch, nice and fast. It's not, it's not a slow deployment. Not slow at all. Very nice, very nice. So you've got your both ways of flipping. And yes, there's plenty of blade to pinch it open. Very nice. And it has a nice strong detent. It's, the blade is not coming out. Has, you could probably hear it. Yeah, part of that was my fingernail. <laughs> yeah, it has a nice strong detent. Let's see what it looks like left-handed. Left-handed. Very easy to operate left-handed. No problem. problems at all. Yeah, I like it when I can fidget with the knife left-handed. So fidget factor, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it's fun. It doesn't have multiple deployments. I mean, you have a couple ways to open it. But I'll tell you what, I'm liking this blade shape, though. I'm really liking the blade shape. So quick on ergos. Let's do ergos. My hand's four inches from here to here. Three and a half inches from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the end of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. So this is what it looks like in my hand. Let me back out just a little bit more. Oh, get the sticker out of the way. So this is what it looks like in my hand. I have a large size hand. Okay, I'm, I always give it the squeeze test to see what I'm gonna feel as far as hot spots. It's not hot spotty. So that pocket clip's not too hateful. It's fallen right in the crux of my hand right there. That's not too bad. All right, so here's, here's this grip. That is pretty comfortable. And have a look. Ooh, this is my favorite kind of jimping. Now, I wish it had a little bit more jimping. I wish it came out to here. If you're going to have it, have it out a little farther for me. My thumb always comes. I don't hold my knives way back here like this. A little bit more jimping out farther on the spine, but this this is really neat looking. This uh, nice swedge of a cutout. That is cool. It's like a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a little uh, plank, <laughs> a little shelf. I don't know, but it's pretty neat looking. It adds definitely to the aesthetics of the knife. As far as the aesthetics, there's this side. Here's this side. It's a pretty sweet looking knife, I have to say. And as far as ergos, I mean, all day long. You can do utility cuts all day long with this sucker. It's comfortable. Do we have a sharpening choil? Yes. So you're safe on sharpening before you get to the plunge grind. You're not going to make a smile. So you have plenty of room for sharpening. I wouldn't say, you know, you don't really want to choke up on it because if you do, you're going to put your finger right up there on the edge. So there's no choking up unless you want to do some of the, like some of that business right there. But pretty much you're locked in right there. It's really comfortable. The handle is very comfortable. Fidget factor is pretty good. So far, I li I'm liking this knife. The action. So let's see what it is right now and then we'll take it apart and see what it changes to. So giving it a little bit of gravity and it heads right down. I bet that's going to improve. Oh yeah, that's going to improve. So I don't really have anything negative to say about the knife other than, you know, with the flipper here and no choil, but I think I really like this blade without a choil. I, I love this sheep's foot blade and I like that it's bigger than the, uh, than the, oh, what's the other one? The penguin. I like that it's bigger than the penguin. It has a bigger handle, full size. I like it. All right, guys, let's get into it and take this thing apart. All right, guys, we are back. Are you ready to take this sucker apart? I have a T T8 and a T6 ready, ready to go. Let's see how difficult or easy. Ooh, nice. Okay, so it has a T8 on both sides, but I didn't have to use one on the other side to break it open. So that already I'm excited about. A couple I've taken apart lately. I had to freaking use a T8 on both sides and it's just not as fun. But we're gonna see what's inside this bad boy. So that screw is just spinning like I'll get out. There we go. All right. Onesie and twosie. Oh, I see what's happening. It, <laughs> I screwed it on the other side. I could have put my finger there and it probably would have came out for me. Nope, it's wanting to spin. Ah, uh, come on, don't make me use two T6s. It is just spinning. I might have to use one on the other side. Nope, it came right apart. How about that? See there, the barrel spacer goes straight through. 
So I probably could have taken it apart from the other side, but we'll find out. We shall see. Let's see what we have inside here. All right, let's see what we're working with. I'll give you a nice look here. So it's a little burn at the edge right there. And it looks like we're definitely gonna have a lot better action once we clean this puppy up. Get this, uh, get this little dude out of there. You Where'd it go? There it is. There it is. All right, I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth. Look at all that, look at all that goop that's gonna clean out. Oh man, this thing is gonna be so much better after it's cleaned. Oh, show! Oh, show! Oh yeah, look at that already. Look at that. Would you look at it? Get a little bit of alcohol. Put on the corner of my cleaning rag here. And in case you're new to this, alcohol is what's great to use because it will evaporate. Give this a good old cleaning. Make sure I'm getting inside the pivot. Gotta get in the pivot. Having fun, you guys. I'm excited. Tonight is Bees Blades Live. Bees Blades Live at the Hive. You guys aren't going to see this tonight, today. This will be... Uh, this will probably be going up Sunday, I'm guessing. Maybe. We'll see. You'll see. We'll clean this bad boy off. I know I'm just all over the place here. Give you a good look at those bearings. Pretty nice looking bearings. Just rub them around. Get them all nice and clean. There you go. Look at that. That looks a lot better. Looks a lot better. Boy, they're nice and clean now. Nice and clean. <laughs> I was just thinking I got to find the wet spot clean my other bearing get it all nice and cleaned up there you go look at that very nice very very nice all right let's take the old pivot out there now look at here see that gunk we're gonna put fresh on there gonna put fresh yeah and I don't need to take the scale off just for the purpose of this video, but that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to clean it up just a little bit more here. Get it cleaned up. All right, so it's pretty simple as I'm throwing my backspacer around. Now i got to figure out how my backspacer went. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see. Do we have this clean? No, we don't. Look at that. That's na oh Peter, that's nasty. That's nasty. What shows that from, guys? And don't forget, I really appreciate it when you guys leave leave comments. Let me know what you think about the knife. Let me know what you think about the video. And I'm using KPL knife pivot lube. This is KPL original, and then I'll put one drop of KPL heavy in the in the pivot hole. But I'm just gonna put a little bit. And it looks like it has kind of has its own little uh, track already. Come on, this bottle, sometimes I have to really, really get into it. There we go. There we go. And hopefully I'm on camera here. I have to really squeeze this bottle hard to get that one drop out. But that's all you need is one drop. I'm kind of glad that it doesn't come out easy. And I'm just going to spread some around here. Spread the love. And this is going to be easy peasy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let's see, here is our detent hole. See that little hole right there? That's where we're going to put one drop of KPL Heavy, just one little drop. And then that'll spread across this detent track you see right there. And it'll spread on its own. So I'm going to put... Put our pivot back. Where'd our pivot go? Where is the pivot? I'm going to clean the pivot off. Make sure it's nice and clean. Is this a D-shaped pivot? Yeah, see? Now that's why we didn't have to use two T8s. See how that's D-shaped? That is nice. $27 knife. And they, they have the, the smarts to make put a D-shaped pivot in there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right. Put that bad boy on there. And we'll just put a little dropsy drop. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't have my little bitty, uh, my little favorite. I'm going to grab it. I like to spread the love with one of these little uh, swabby swabs. 
spreading the love. And then I'm also going to get just a, one little tiny droplet and put on this swab and then go around the pivot. Make sure that pivot's nice and lubed. You always want to make sure you got enough lube, right? Right? Okay, here we go. There's your stop pin. You can see where it's going to stop. Pa ching Right there. That's what stops the blade. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now we're going to put this bad boy in here. And I'm just going to touch that because one drop's almost more than I needed. Now I'm just going to put a little bit more on here. Just a couple little baby drops. Where did my swab go? Yeah, guys, Friday night, every Friday night, 8.15 to, I don't know, 11.15 or so, Bees Blades Live. We have a blast, and there's always giveaways. All right, so what are we missing here? Backspacer, about forgot that. Kind of need your backspacer. Kind of need it. All right, are we going to go back together easily? Let's see what happens. Yeah, like a dream. Shaw. What do you think about that? Man, this this is a, just like the last few, I've been I've been uh, disassembling for you guys. It's, um, it's easy peasy. You know, it's not one of those knives that has a million parts to it. It takes like special skills and special tools. So let's see, our D-shaped pivot. I have to get that pivot lined up. See how I don't have the pivot lined up right there? So I'm gonna have to turn it. I'm gonna have to get that bad boy lined up. Get the cat hair off. <laughs> All right, so are we lined up now? It seems like we are. So I'm gonna have to make sure I've got it lined up so it meets the other side. That's probably gonna be the hardest part. See how this side is D-shaped to match that D-shape? I have to make sure that I can make them meet. Me in the middle. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. See if we can get it to meet up. Are we meeting up? I think so. It feels pretty darn solid. Pretty solid. Yeah. Let's see how she goes here. Going right back in. <laughs> and another sub $30 knife centers up right off the bat. I mean, come on. How many of you guys and gals have expensive knives that won't center? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Actually, I think this screw came from this side. I won't put it back where it goes. I like to put screws back where I found them. <laughs> All right, tighten that one up. Because I have the feeling this one's going to be nothing to it. Getting it centered and working real smooth. And I can't wait to see the action on this puppy. All right, so we are centered. That's pretty smooth. Super solid. I mean, it's solid. I know I can back this pivot out just a little bit. It's going to be even smoother. I'm going to back it out just a hair. Make sure it's still solid. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. So backing out here just a little bit. Here's your action. Look at that. It falls shut. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, guys? Gals? $26.99. It's almost like having a, a larger cousin of the QSP Penguin. It's very similar, but it's not. It has a bigger handle, bigger blade. The action is really good. Easy to take apart, easy to clean. Centers right up. It's really attractive. I like, I like those... Uh, Liners, they look really nice. I like it. I don't really have anything negative to say about it right now. Um, I would I would like a little more jimping up here, but I like the overall style and the overall look. So tell me what you think, guys. You like it? What do you think? Huh? 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 Tell me, tell me. But remember, always live in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself. <laughs>